Hi, this is Rich with uh, WorkshopAddict.com. This is uh, SketchUp tutorial number nine. And today we're going to talk about SketchUp point inferences. Uh, these are uh, very powerful uh, functions within SketchUp. Um, I'm sure you've, uh, you've saw them in your previous drawings and the, uh, they were in the previous tutorials, but we really didn't talk about them too much or um, the extended uh, functionality of them. Uh, let's start off by drawing a rectangle on the screen. And an inference point is if we move our, I went to the line tool, I move it down here to the corner, you'll notice it says endpoint. There's a green circle on that endpoint. That uh, green circle is a point inference. And uh, if I move up the side, it says on edge. That's uh, a red square telling us that we're on the edge. And when I get up here to the midpoint, uh, that's a cyan circle, meaning we're at the midpoint. Out here on the face, uh, we've got a diamond, uh, blue diamond, that indicates that we're on the face. Let's uh, draw a circle out here on the, on the screen. And you will notice that when we go to the center of that circle, it says center. So we've got a center point on that circle. Um, that's very important if you were going to draw, like a, uh, say you wanted to draw a washer. Uh, we ended up uh, making our inner circle exactly centered, which wouldn't be a very good washer otherwise. Now, let's do that again. One of the things that I am going to mention here, we're going to make this a group and pull it into a 3D object. So now we've got a shaft. If we wanted to do that same thing, like make a bushing, come up here, you notice we cannot find that center. It's just no matter how hard you move around, you will probably not find it. The thing that I found, if we move up here along the edge and come around the edge about 90 degrees and catch a couple quadrants, when you come back to the center, uh, you will be able to find that center point. So if we wanted to make this a bushing, first of all, we'd need to uh, edit that group and uh, come out here, come around the uh, outside find our center click now we're going to push that all the way through come down here to the bottom and you'll see that we now have a have a bushing all right let's uh let's get rid of that um, we already talked about the endpoint midpoint on edge on face there's uh Oh, in the center as well. There's one other, um, one other inference that is uh, commonly used, and that's intersection. But to do that, we need. Uh, let's make this a group. We're going to make a copy of this up here. Uh, go back to our line tool, and you'll see now we've got a red X intersection in group intersection and group. There's two intersections um, in these in these groups where they uh, where they intersect. So we have a, a red X showing that that's an intersection. Notice everything on a grouped object adds in group afterwards. Endpoint in group, um, on face in group. Uh, that gives you an indication that that's a group. You lose your colors for, you know, if this wasn't a group, we would have a, a green circle as an endpoint. Uh, but it's magenta. Everything in a, in a group, uh, midpoint, that is magenta in color. Uh, so we've got a circle, magenta circle, except for the intersection. Intersection uh, in groups is, uh, is red. So those are... Those are handy to let you know the different parts on that object or entity um, so you can 
you know, if we had a, uh, say, a rectangle out here, and we wanted to bring this rectangle in uh, and meet the midpoint of this, uh, this rectangle here, we could go to the end point and click, and then come in here and click on midpoint, and we've now joined that uh, end point of that rectangle to the midpoint of the uh, uh, rectangle there. So that gives us that type of uh, indication. Now, the powerful thing about uh, inferences is beyond the visual part that I just showed you. I'm going to draw another rectangle here, and I'm going to draw another one up here. One of the things about SketchUp that will save you a lot of time if you force yourself into doing it, I'm trying to learn to use it more. Uh, you know, I came from technologies that didn't have this. But if we wanted to draw a line, say, starting at this endpoint here, and we wanted to go out to, to the very end of this other rectangle, no further, no less, exactly that distance, we could come up here like this and uh, put our cursor on this uh, end of this rectangle and tell it that's where we wanted to go. Now when we move out here, notice how it snaps to there? We can click and that line ended exactly where that uh, end of that rectangle is. So we can, uh, we can do that. It works with uh, with the uh, other inferences, midpoint, uh, center, so on and so forth. Uh, very, very handy thing to have. We could come across here, so we wanted to come to the midpoint of this. So we drag across, notice how it snaps. We came to the midpoint of that. Um, very, uh, very powerful. I'll delete those. Another way you can use that Let's let's draw a triangle. Come up here, down, back. We now have a triangle. If I wanted to draw a line parallel up to uh, parallel lo along this uh, this diagonal line on this triangle, from I'm going to start down here, and I wanted to come up here like this. It doesn't place it exact. You could eyeball it, but it's not exact. Uh, one thing to do would be uh, take your tape measure tool and pull a guide, you know, a certain distance off there, which may be a better choice depending on what you're doing. But with uh, with the inferences, if we go up here and we click this uh, anywhere along this line, we're telling SketchUp that we want to follow that line. And notice how it's pulling parallel along there now. It's changed colors. There's black. It's changed colors and it's parallel to that edge. So that's one of the things that we can we can do with that. That works uh, uh, works extremely well in a lot of uh, situations. Now I'm going to steal an example I saw in another tutorial. We'll put this into use somewhere. We're going to draw a basic house. So we drew a rectangle, and we're going to pull it up so we have some walls. Now we want to uh, put the roof on the thing, and we're going to take advantage of our midpoint inferences. So midpoint here, midpoint here, and then we're going to move. Let's uh, highlight this line. And we're going to move this line up, which effectively just pulls that peak up. Now, we want to stay on our blue axis going towards the sky. Otherwise, we're going to end up, we could end up with a non-asymmetrical roof, which may be fine for what you're doing, but we want an asymmetrical roof. So we're just going to pull up a ways here on this blue axis and click. Now, in this example I saw, we wanted to put a chimney on a house. So we come up here and click. Now, we want to come down here, and we want to start the bottom part of the chimney, say right here, and we want to come up this direction. Well, we really don't know 
how high we need to go. If that was a flat roof and we had a 48 inch chimney, we could come up 48 both directions, but we don't know because it's an odd angle. We just want to meet the same height as that other line. So we come over here and click this endpoint and then go back to this and notice that it is snapped to that point and we come across to here, we completed our chimney. Now if we want, we can push that back and uh, and we've got a chimney. That works for you know all things. If we wanted to say put a slab in front of this house and we wanted the slab to come halfway across we could come out here like so click come back along this axis but we wanted to come halfway you know we don't know what that measurement is um, but we want it to be halfway if we come up here find the midpoint and then come back see how it snaps click there back we now have a slab that is uh, you know half the uh, length of the uh, house because we uh, we took it to our uh, our midpoint so sketch up point inferences are uh, extremely powerful and uh, as I said I'm trying to force myself into using them um, not something uh, I've used in uh, uh, AutoCAD or anything else I've uh, drawn with and uh, these will uh, cut your drawing time uh, dramatically so anyhow give it a try and uh, see what you think